Alright, hi there YouTube, it's me Morrissey America, and I'm playing on Bluestacks. Now, Bluestacks is an Android emulator you can get on your PC or laptop. There are several other Android emulators out there, but my preference is Bluestacks because I'm already familiar with it and it doesn't take up as much requirements to use it. Anyways, this video will be explaining how to get the Korean Dragon Blaze game onto your Android emulator. Now, if you view my details on how to get it onto your phone, it's pretty much the same dealio when it comes to getting it onto your Android emulator. All you need to do is get QAP or APK Pure files, and then you can indirectly download the Korean Dragon Blaze game. Now, the reason why you can't directly download the Korean Dragon Blaze game is due to the fact that it's VPN locked, it's region locked, you have to be in Korea to download it. That's like almost any other game that's not in the United States, like PSO2 ES, or uh, I don't know, several other Japanese games that's out there and up there, and we don't have it just yet. But to get the Ku app, I personally like using Ku app. You can get APK, APK Pure Files, but most likely to download both of these apps, Ku app and APK Pure Files, you'll need to go to your browser and type them up. Once you download Ku app, you just open it up and then you can try out all of these other games this advertising, but exit out of the advertisement, look all the way to the top, find a magnifying glass or the search icon, and type in Gameville. Now, do not type in Dragon Blaze because if you type that up, it's gonna think you're referring to the Dragon Ball Z stuff. Or you could try to guess and figure out if one of these Korean texts searches are uh, the you know Korean Dragon Blaze but to make it easier on you guys just type in Gameville and I had to go back again so I can do this you just type in Gameville and it should pop up a bunch of games from Gameville and you should see a familiar face which is transcended Bell Snow she's winking at us so this is the Korean Dragon Blaze game and once you open this up, make sure you install it and then wait till it's done downloading and pretty much you have the Korean Dragon Blaze game into your Android emulator. Now I'm trying to exit out of Ku app, so let me exit out. God damn it, game. Exit. Exit. I'm pressing escape. But yeah, once you... Okay, it kind of did a funny thing there. But yeah, once you have it, pretty much that's it. Now, if you didn't make a Kakao Talk account just yet, I made a video talking about that somewhere and you can find that in the description below or, the, or at the end of this video. Now if you're playing on iOS, I'm also going to link you guys a video that Merc H2O did. Big shout out to you and uh, pretty much he explains how to get the Korean Dragon Blaze game onto your iOS. But yeah, when it comes to Kakao Talk though, you will need that app when it comes to pre-registering for any big event that's kicking in in the Korean Dragon Blaze. And personally, I'll recommend this. Get Kakao Talk app onto your phone instead of putting it on an Android emulator because it does require a phone number or like it does require some stuff. Now, I forgot why or how to navigate through Kakao Talk when I had it on my Android emulator, but pretty much I like it's easier to ha just have it on your phone anyway, so yeah, but it depends on your preference So you can take my advice or you can toss it aside or do whatever the hell you want with it Go ahead, but that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching any questions Comments concerns about how to download the Korean Dragon Blaze leave them down in the comments below But anyways, I'll see you guys around peace